Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV. I'm JD. I'm Erin. I'm Kat. I'm Jenny. <laughs> Woo! That, do you know what? It wasn't too bad. <laughs> Although, you made Erin sound Australian. Oh, sorry. I'm Erin. <laughs> you just mess it all up. Welcome I mean, back I to wish, my cup that of would TV. Be cool. yeah. We are doing K-pop reactions. Apparently none of us know our fucking names. <laughs> oh, why did you You're do that? You mess. just... Yeah, you just... Well, do you know what? Australia is on the opposite side of the world. Things are different there. And if we are now <laughs> in Australia... Are you saying the Australia... Uh, the Australia... Australia is the upside down. Is that what you're trying yes. to say? Yes. Okay, good, good. So we saw... Young RM. Young Jin. Young J-Hope. And baby, baby JK. <laughs> mm-hmm. And young Jimin. Oh, yeah. We've got yeah, a picture yeah. too. We haven't yet. We've seen bits of little young sugar. Yeah. I haven't seen young mm. V yet. But then he was kept secret, wasn't he? Yeah. Was yeah. he? Yeah, he, was, he wasn't... Um, they didn't reveal. He was like a mystery member who was going to be the seventh Oh, because he didn't know... Wait, I'm remembering this. He didn't know, did he, until... No, he long. did. He did. Oh. But Jimin was the last one, actually, to... Was, uh, Jimin was the last one to get into the group. Um, I think it was Jimin. Jimin had the shortest training time. It's only like a year. No, but I think they kept him as a secret. But they like, kept him a secret from the public, member. yeah. And then they showed his face and it's like, God... <laughs> <laughs> he was supposed to be, yeah, like this handsome, pretty boy they were keeping, like a visual God, they were that's keeping. That's a hard image, isn't it? Wouldn't you feel the pressure of... Yeah. What if I show my face and everyone goes, oh, oh is that yeah. mm. Oh, God, the anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I feel horrendous for them. But also, I think it's so... I'm feeling really emotional seeing them all doing these little like yeah they have no idea yeah that's like, the thing isn't it even it's in like their them, wildest no dreams idea. do they have any idea that how many years later they're going to change the world there's like a group of girls yeah. in the UK watching a video about them and just talking about how much they love them but <laughs> they're, they're, they're going to change the world because yeah. again that's all they wanted was to be successful enough to have a good career and be paid for what they did they didn't actually realise they were going to blow up the world which is crazy <laughs> But, but they've taken on that responsibility so well. <laughs> yeah. And you saw bits in there again, it revisits it in the like the hardships videos and whatnot, but they had a one bedroom apartment and so they had seven single beds in the one bedroom. Yeah. So that was a uh, three sets of bunk beds and a single bed for Jacob. Oh that the lady and she was like, They're oh, good kids, they're smart, she feeds they're them. gonna do well and you just like that must have felt like like a home comfort yeah. away from that home. adopted them. Mm. And how proud would you be seeing? I mean, I really hope mm. that hope... our restaurant has done really well. And yeah, that they I think go people back. said that they've got posters. Yeah. She's got posters and stuff in there. And that, yeah, so I mean, the people go there, and mm. have the food, and that she. Uh, that this was where you like just started to visit when we go to Korea. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm absolutely loving this video. I was thinking, you want the people that were there for them when. I say when they were no, they were never nobody, but you know what I mean. When they had nothing, yeah. Mm. People that were there for them then, you really hope are, yeah, riding the success with them. Yeah, the ones that mm. gave them the time of day. Yeah, just for giving them the time of day, not for anything. Yeah, mm. you're yeah. not the people that have jumped on later and now be like, yeah, I'm part of their success. You're like, mm, but, but are you? <laughs> that's, that's why I feel so glad for all of the success that um, Brian P. Nim gets. You know, because he left. A successful label to create his own and he knew what he wanted and he's treated them well so i feel like any of the money they've earned as for big hit is do you know what i mean it's it doesn't feel dirty yeah it feels like they've done it a really good way so that's why i'm so pleased for like any progress that and money they've made as, as that little label it's good because now they're able to obviously with hive and then support other little labels as yeah. well with them now being a majority shareholder for people like Pledis and things like that. So it, it will have a knock-on effect and help other groups as well have better investment. So yeah, it's really good. He's still their choreographer. <laughs> Oh, the excitement of some watermelon. Tell <laughs> <laughs> 
But it allows you to tell something about them by leaving yeah. it to them. Where's his J-Hook he sounds really different. <laughs> He's always been a workaholic. Yeah. <laughs> Can you pause it? One second, I'll just take one. 
So V um, was in the group at this time, but because he was going to be kept a secret, and he knew, but still, it must have been hard. He wasn't allowed to do any of the vlogs, and he wasn't allowed to appear in any of them. So there's a couple of these vlogs where they're all together in this little room, but V, you don't know, realize it that V is actually standing behind the oh. camera, so he was there. So they still included him, but he wasn't allowed to be on camera. He's he's like our cat. He's our cat. <laughs> But yeah, I still feel really sad because like he wasn't able to get involved. That's why you're in last week's time, aren't you? She was sorry for you. Kind of point out though, it's not that we don't let her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's like that. She chooses to yeah. stay there. She's so a she can secret weapon. Mock us off screen. <laughs> it's like someone just burnt all his baby photos. Like, no, oh, there, there is. There's still stuff there, and yeah. you do you you, you see like his pre debut stuff. But yeah, all the vlogs and whatnot, he had to keep himself a secret. And they all had to keep him a secret as well, so they couldn't talk about him. Do you think that gave like a little bit of a disconnect? Possibly. Because didn't he say that he and RM? Well, when he first turned up, RM said he was trying to figure out this little dude. He was like, "Are you, are you like attention seeking, or are you?" And then he was like, "No, no, you're just yeah. you're just weird. You're yeah. just a little alien, and that's cool." So he said it took him a little. People bit say of that about Aaron. Doing. Well, exactly. But then, it, well, no, exactly. But then if if it was like a thing of like you I was with you but no one could see that I was with you, mm. that's gonna play a lot. I think mind. it shows a lot of strength to them and their bond behind the scenes when yeah. they then when they weren't filming they were doing yeah. so much stuff all together because it didn't I've never seen personally any footage where that showed a disconnect. Okay. They always seemed so unified and such like a good team, which was like, really nice. Because you must feel a bit like, what if they decide to cut me? No one would know. Yeah, no. There's no proof that yeah. I was here. Yeah. yeah. No, but I, I, like I said, I can see the business savvy and that's quite a smart decision of like a secret member, who's it going to be? Yeah. Like he was like the the special edition, the reveal. So hopefully he felt that like a good good way about it. But yeah, that's why he wasn't mentioned any, in any of that. I just wanted to clarify. That's because they weren't allowed to talk about him because he was the secret. But it's like sometimes like when I watch stuff that you guys do without him because I can't be around, I'm still, there's still a little part of me that's like, no, oh, I want to be. <laughs> be there to, oh yeah because you have more FOMO than most people that we know true story no I don't think well, so we, we do I don't think so yeah and also what's funny is a lot of the times we do talk about you if you're not here <laughs> sometimes you know you get little mentions and whatnot. so <laughs> they know it's usually don't tell Erin it's usually we're glad Erin's not here Jenny says that because then she's like I'm going to steal all the bias <laughs> and I'm like that's not how it works that's why I got an early with ATs mine 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 <laughs> He seems so strong. Yeah. You can see why they chose him as the leader, yeah. like he just has that air about him. Oh, that's it. That must have been a hard comparison. Mm. They can't prove what they've been doing. Yeah. And they want to know that all their sacrifices weren't yeah. for, for nothing. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. There's only so much veneer, but they are doing the hard work. Ooh. 
한번 뒤에 피를 뽑은 적 있어요. 뭐 응원 메시지 많이 보내. 쓰세요. 그러나 다 보고 확인하고 있으니까 힘이 듭니다. 진짜 힘이 들고 진짜. To go back in time and add a message to say, keep going. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Tina. 열심히 준비했고 정말 우리들의 이야기로 만든 음악들이다. 추월 거짓도 없고 가사도 정말 중점적으로 잘 들어가 주시면 좋겠고 퍼포먼스도 기대해 주셨으면 좋겠다. 하이 팀이다. 모두들 바쁘게 살자. 어떤 생각 하지? 어, 2013년 5월 17일 방탄의 로그! See, this will be the one where V is in the room, but he's not on camera. 이제 저희가 데뷔 전까지는 로그 없을까? 다음에 또 만나. 자, 네. 이제는 우리가 헤어져야 할 시간. 다음에 또 만나요. And they do one of these vlogs after they debut on yeah. Visa now, obviously. <laughs> Just when you think Sugar can't be any cuter. <laughs> 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 singings out outside and just hope that anybody would come by yeah. and like you, there's photos of it where they it was like their first little fan meeting and there weren't that many people there oh so to go back and go to those things so good <gasps> do you know what my favorite thing was that they've set it up really well with the whole this is the history of what was going on this is what was going on at the time when they were debuting mm. and it's almost like they're giving us their story as if you had followed them from the beginning do you know what i mean like yeah you've you've been there yeah Which, and it's so nice that they laid what was happening out in the culture of yeah. the country as a whole so then you're context. kind of yeah and then you're kind of like and this is why it's significant what happened with bts so yeah. it's yeah very they've made it really, really easy good. to understand which is really nice her name is anisa anisa, anisa thank, thank you so you. much for making oh, so that good. you deserve some kind of like army award is that like a nobel army prize she deserves recognition from the boys <laughs> yeah oh my god i wonder if they've seen that I'd love to think of them watching it being like, I'd forgotten about that yeah. one. Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really unbiased. I don't know if it's just because... It was very neutral, the way yeah, it was yeah. edited. It was just and, like, mm. and it was really beautifully done. And it wasn't just them, like, hearing from other people and... Yeah. Yeah, some of that was, like, the Blackpink stuff from their Netflix documentary. Yeah, to give and you other that stuff. context. Yeah, it's really nice. And I love that it was actually so accessible for people that had no idea because a little thing popped up with an explanation of what a hyung is. Yeah. And I was like, that's... Because it can be such an intimidating world. Say you heard Butter. And yeah. you're like, I like that song. I want to know more about BTS. It, and people recommend to you, like, you've, maybe you've reacted to a BTS video and they're like, you yeah. should watch Rise of Bangtan. And then you put this on, you're thinking, I don't know what that means. Yeah. Or It's got educational, yeah. per, like, little bits in there across Korean culture in general. Because that's obviously a, a word yeah, in, in yeah. Hangul. So, yeah. But it's always such a hard... Thing to find like the right starting point mm. and to understand things so yeah that was 
I loved the bits at the beginning and it felt really seamlessly to, I do not want to think about how long that must have taken yeah. but also so to fresh plan done. out a story arc mm. for yeah. all these videos mm. I struggle to plan what we're filming one day I know but to think right I'm going to do this and this is what I want to tell in this bit or mm. is it that you just gather all the clips and see what works I'm absolutely in awe. Yeah. It's really yeah. nice yeah. though because they're keeping this one like up to like lead up to debut. Yeah. And then yeah, so I can see how they've chopped it up. I need a good. making of. The making <laughs> of <laughs> this. That was And Lisa it's... might be like, it's just me in my living room on my laptop. Like there's not much of a making of, but Yeah, but like your brain space to be able to yeah. pull that together. That I think is phenomenal. So much ahead. And yeah. to find all of those clips. Yeah. Like, so I've I've actually seen all of that footage before, but I can't remember. I don't think I've seen this, but I've, to see it laid out yeah. all in one go, that's really nice. It's yeah. really good. It's literally it's a documentary. Yeah. It's a documentary series Put on Netflix. Netflix. Yes. yes. Anissa, yes. sell this. Yeah, sell, sell this to Netflix. Netflix. Get girl. yourself a deal. Yes. Oh my goodness. That'd be good. Um, I will point out that uh, Minyungi has never not been cute. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm thinking they're really young in this. It probably won't hit the same. He hits. Oh, well, cute. not the same, but he's but, like, oh my mm-hmm. god. It's because the nose was still there. That's why. <laughs> She's like, look at his nose. Like, oh, it's so cute. Yeah, very cute. He looks a little less... In the clips, he looks a little less hardened. Sometimes he can come across a bit... What, his resting bitch face? Yeah, a bit <laughs> that we bit. I don't know if that was maybe because... That for, maybe for all of them, in a sense, there wasn't anything to... I think they were full of excitement. Yeah, yeah. yeah fighting because for that's, it, fighting for yeah. it. Yeah, that's they've yeah. got a company that's given them a concept. They're they're in a group. They're coming up to you know what I mean. They're just yeah. full of excitement. Yeah. So maybe that's why. But when he's obviously, he's, you, either you catch him when he's in his process yeah. doing like composition and whatnot, or like we see him performing where he's talking about something that's pretty deep and meaningful. Yeah. That's when you see possibly yeah. the hardened side. I but there, they were just full of excitement. That from what I've seen. I've never seen him genuinely angry or grumpy. I feel like he... Oh, I have. You may if, have. If, if, if interviewers have dissed oh, them yeah. or disrespected them, you can see it in But from face. what we've seen, I feel like he sometimes plays up to that Standoff-ish. grumpy big brother. You yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah. they'll come over like, sugar, and he's like, no, I'm, you know. Yeah, he kind yeah, of plays no, up that role no. in the group. That's what I mean. And then you see him doing like that, yeah. that with Sai. You're like, we know you love a bit of your you know so I mean, sometimes that, he that plays we know. Up. What? Oh right. Mm. No, I have to puff. An emotionless. <laughs> what are you that's talking about? Right, that's right. Yeah. I literally two seconds are like. Yeah. Thank you. yeah. <laughs> she started to egg you. What was that said earlier? Finger hot to everyone. Yeah, she <laughs> did do that earlier, didn't you? <laughs> I'm just waiting for the day when she goes like, no. I want to get my channel. Like, I wait if I to do something really, really Akio. Like, oh my god, where she's like, puts on a stupid voice and does it because that's proper Akio. Yeah, but it won't be my fault if I do it with binnies. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. oh shit, the day when she sits there with the pouty lips. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> literally. It's so funny. She's done it that we've seen on I, court on camera. I have done things I bet you she like, practice in the mirror. I have done that to my niece before. I've been like, oh. There you go. <laughs> that's, it's a baby. That's the excuse. That's, that's the excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where it starts. Poor Mary. He must get it all the time. <laughs> anyway. Enough about me. That's um, probably our closest version to Eggyo is when we talk to our pets, right? Yeah. Because you do automatically yeah. talk to your pets in a really silly... Or baby voice. voice when you yeah, talk yeah, baby, that's like, it. Oh, that's probably yeah. the closest thing we have. Yeah. I go to church. I'm like, boo, boo. Okay, so that was episode one of Rise of Bangtan. I'm really glad we finally got to this. I now want to. Now, watch. yeah, now we're really so like, like next mm, one. Yes. Oh, so, so, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.